Hey there, it's Kristen with K Design Co. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a coming soon page. So hopefully this will be a quick and easy tutorial. Um, I am featuring my Jenny uh, blog template in this tutorial, um, but this same process can be done with any show it template. And I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in. So the reason that you might want a coming soon page, um, if you aren't quite ready to launch your website, um, let's say you're still filling out the content or you still have blogs to write, um, this would be a good um, opportunity to put up a coming soon page to let people know that your website is coming and will be available to access soon. So what you're going to do to create a coming soon page is you can just go over here to your pages and if you have a template that already has some pages in it that you want to um, let's say uh, copy or duplicate, you could do that, um, something that might be similar to the design that you're looking for, um, or you can just start with a blank page. Um, I'm actually going, I really like this um, home hero style um, on the Jenny template. So I'm gonna use this as kind of a starting point. Um, so what I'm gonna go and do actually is I'm just gonna go to the home template and I'm just going to duplicate it so i will create a new page i'll name it coming soon and then i'm going to i'm just going to drag it down here so it's away from all those demos and then uh, i'm going to delete all the sections that i don't really need i really only just want this top section um, so i don't need the rest um, you can go ahead and i'll leave that uh, featured post because that's what i want I'm just going to go ahead and delete these other ones. Deleting them will not affect um, your other uh, page. So feel free to edit it as you need. And I'm going to delete that. Basically, I'm going to delete everything that's not the top section, including my header but I actually do want to pull something out of my header really quick. So I really like this little logo mock-up that I have. So I'm going to just drag to select all, copy that. And I'm going to go back to my coming soon page. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, so now I have this nice big um, photo area. Um, so obviously I'm not necessarily going to make um, these feature blog posts, but I do like the image. So I'm just going to get rid of those arrows it's not going to be something that's accessible. I'm going to get rid of the button. Um, and then I will probably drag down this image. Um, right now it's a background image and I'm actually going to change the canvas um, to be, uh, it already is one to height. Okay, so it will adjust to the size of your browser. So that's nice. And then I'll also adjust this border so it fits nicely inside of there. And then I'm going to copy and paste um, my lovely um, logo here at the top. Um, I'm going to move this down here. Move a few. Obviously, you can design the, your page however you want. Um, this is just um, my own personal preference and design taste. Um, this is just to give you some ideas of what you might do. So I'm going to change that color, that text. And then I'm going to grab all this, just move it down just a little bit. Okay, so maybe I'll say coming soon. Um, and then I will use this text box to check back soon for a new website. And then I'll just adjust my box here. We just want it to be one single line in the center like that. Make sure everything's nice and centered. Um, let's see if I really want this line. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not. I'll keep that there. And then one other thing that I would suggest adding to your coming soon page is uh, some social icons. So I actually have those already. Um, I probably could have kept those originally, but I'll just go down here to my footer and I will copy and select those. 
And then going back to my coming soon page, I'll paste those on the page here. And then I'll just change the color of them so they pop a little bit more off of the background with a white instead of the peach color on all of those. And if you haven't already, we're going to go ahead and add the click actions link. Um, make sure you do use HTTPS dot or colon slash slash uh, before you type your URL. Um, but make sure you enter all those um, to have them be clickable, making sure everything's aligned to the canvas. Actually, I think I'm going to just increase the size of this just a little bit um, so it stands out from the logo. And then there we are okay so this is looking nice to me right now how i have it um, the only thing that you will need to do then is just go over to your mobile side and just kind of tweak things around a little bit because i did make some adjustments so i will change that and the logo make sure every, all of that goes in the center nicely done and then i will move this box here and this text here. Okay, right now I'm not seeing uh, my logos uh, for my social. So I'm just going to grab those and check where they are. I'm guessing they are down here. Yep, they're down here. So just going to, I'm actually clicking shift and just click up arrow. And that helps me move things a little bit more quickly. And I'll just change those colors again for mobile. And we are nearly done. So now that I have those all adjusted, um, I will adjust the size of the text just a little bit more so it stands out. And then I'm going to look at these side by side just to make sure they mirror kind of each other, essentially the same sort of design. OK, um, and the only thing I want to check on this mobile side is, let's see, I do want to make sure that this is window height, so it will stretch to the browser, the background, um, and I go ahead and adjust that as needed for the border and the background image. Um, but besides that, I think everything's looking really good. So the key to making this a coming soon page and not just a regular page on the website um, is the fact that it has no navigation at the top. So nobody can click um, any other links that you have so they can't really get inside the other pages. And the second um, key that you'll want to do is actually um, See how this little house icon is on this first page? You're just going to want to change that to come on your coming soon page, and that's going to set that as your home page um, until you are ready to launch your website. So um, to do that, all you need to do is click those three little dots and then hit set as home page. And then once you preview it and you publish your site, um, this will be the only page that will show. And so no one will be able to click into the other page of your site. So this is how the example is going to show um, for this coming soon page. Like I said, nobody's able to click any of the navigation because we remove that. And then all they really have here to interact with um, is to go to one of your social, social media sites. So um, hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions, obviously, please drop them in the comments. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Um, or let me know what other videos you'd love to see. Thanks.